Hey there, Soul Shines! My name is Michelle, and today we are doing an unboxing. This was a surprise unboxing. I recorded a lot of it last week. However, I've learned a few things since. It, I didn't know I was getting it. Um, one of my amazing subscribers is super generous, and she purchased a mystery yarn box from Lori the Armchair Chef. So, Lori um, puts together boxes, people purchase them, I believe through her Etsy shop, and she sends them out, and so one of my amazing subscribers uh, chose a box, or chose to buy me a mystery box, and it showed up, and I was really excited. So, um, I'm recording a new intro now that I know a little bit about it, and then I'm going to do a little hodgepodge editing, and I'm really excited for this. There are some gorgeous yarns in that box, I'll tell you that much. Let's get over to previous video footage. I did have my son take off the open it, but I was like, don't let me look inside of it. Sorry. Crackling. I was like, don't let me look inside of it because I want it to be a surprise. So, I have a box. And let's open it. Okay. Do -do. There's a card. That is why I have glasses. Mm -hmm. Aww. It says, Michelle, this mystery box was sent to you as a gift from Mary. Please enjoy the yarn and make your magic with it, Lori, the yarn chair chef. Um, so that's really fun. So thank you, Mary. I, I'm excited. I love mystery. Okay. So what we have here is, it's really pretty. Um... Its color is called Jade. I mean, it does have green in it, but, um, 100% recycled polyester, bulky five. It's a little bit of, um, it's called Eco Naturals, made from recycled plastic. It reminds me a little bit of a, um, almost of a Chanel, but not quite. So. I've never had this before. It's from Loops and Threads. So that's really fun. I'm excited. I wonder what I will make. And what else do we have? Oh, nice. Sport weight, yellow cotton. I'm guessing it's cotton. Um, it's 60% Pima cotton and 40% moldal. I cannot remember what model is, but I know I've looked it up before. A really quick insert here as I update you on what I just learned. Modal is a semi-synthetic fiber. So um, it's similar to rayon. Rayon is half man-made and comes from um, fibers from a plant. And so, sorry about the dog. Modal is from beech trees. So you got beech wood or whatever, beech tree fibers um, with the synthetic process. Um, so that's what modal is. So it's a semi-synthetic. And then Pima cotton, I looked that up as well because I was really curious what the Pima means. And most cotton um, uses really fine, um, small, little bits of cotton that they make together and apparently Pima has longer strands of cotton so therefore it can give a smoother um, finish and that's what Pima is. So that was a really cool little information we just learned. Um, oh, it's kind of soft. It's softer than a cotton. I like that. That's fun. I, I like sport weight. All right and what else do we have in here? It's awkward position for the box. We need to move the box over here. There is some more of this little sport weight. This one says shine. It will say shine. This is a lavender color. Does it have a color name? I forgot to look at the color name. So these are size two if you don't know what a sport weight is. It's made in Peru. It's color 8060. 
which means this would be a color number as well. Color K236. We've got a yellow and a lavender. Oop, there's more. I love this color. This is color I-472. Does this have a letter too that I, no, it's not. Okay, I-42, this is such a pretty blue. So pretty. Okay. And this one here is color is 5083. So it's kind of a Fuchsia, fuchsia, burgundy, well, not burgundy, more of a fuchsia, so I got that. Ooh, ooh, color 0592, gorgeous dark purple. Ah. So fast. in here? Oh, it's a pretty green. This is color I-800. It's a beautiful Kelly green, one of my favorite colors. <laughs> so on the, I have this on my laptop and I've just it clicked off on, on, off on the video. So luckily for edit, but these are the colors at least. So, okay, I'm having issues. Got to stop putting things on top of the laptop. Um, these are the colors. Hopefully it got all in there in the video of this um, really fun sport weight. So number size two yarn. This one looks, the bottom one looks gray, but it's a lavender. So those are fun. Oh, I like those. I can have fun with those. What, what I shall make. Um, what else is in here? Oh, this is pretty. Oh, so pretty. Fashion plus. Mill end assortment, amazing value. It's a beautiful green, so pretty. It's 100% acrylic. Um, there's 14 ounces in here. It doesn't say that I can see. It doesn't have any tags. I think this, looking at it, I'm guessing this is just your four weight kind of yarn. So I'll open that up eventually, but that's beautiful. It's beautiful green. I'm hoping that I can adjust the coloring on this so we can get some good music color. And now we've got this dark pink color that is also the same stuff. So I got those. Those will be fun to make something with. And this is a really pretty color. This is Big Twist Value, which um, I think it's funny to read what they say on things. This color is burgundy, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's 100% acrylic. And... It's a four weight, so, and it's soft. I like it. I like this color a lot. What do you think? Is that a light color? Look it on me. <laughs> so then, there is this yellow. It's got a tag. Oops, it just fell on the ground. Um... Snuggly Wuggly Dip Dye from Loops and Thread. It is called Daffodils. It's 100% acrylic. Takes a G size hook. Oh, yeah, because there we go. It's a three weight. So, sorry, I dropped this. I don't know if I can get it without distress. So it's this yellow with the white in the middle and stuff. That's pretty cool. I have some yarns I think that would go really well with this. 
So that's fun. I'm going to stick this back in the middle. I like this if I can remember. Um, I don't always remember to do this, but I like to, to try and remember. It's like when I take off the um, sleeve things to keep them with them. Because that's a great way to know what it is. And then we have here Karen Jumbo Ombre. And it's 100% acrylic. It's four weight. Uh, does it say color? Sunset. The color is sunset. And there are two of these. And I have not had the opportunity to work with any of these ombre colors before. So that will be fun. I wonder what I will make. So many possibilities. Oh, so much fun. And then. And then there's a little bag. Oh, let me move this little yarn away. So much fun. Oh my gosh, I love surprises. This is like the happiest mail. I've never received actual happy mail before. It's just a gift. I've ordered things for myself. I've participated in the mystery yarn challenges. But this is just like a gift, random gift of yummy yarny goodness. And I appreciate this. I might make something with it and I might pass it along. And I know that Mary will be happy to see me pass it along. Um, because um, I just know I've had a little a little bit of a conversation with her. So, And so then in here, there's a um, little yellow bag that had some hooks. And so I can pass them along or probably use them either way. Um... They are Susan Bates plastic crochet hooks. I'm trying to get my eyes to work. Okay, USK and this is a P. It's a little bit bulkier. I think that's really pretty. It's kind of translucent. And then this one is. An M, also a bigger hook, and it's also translucent little plastic. So layers are fun. Like I said, I, I've had a little bit of conversation with them, so I know that um, these may or may not get passed along to people because I'm excited to add things and then. Depending on things, I might pass some of this yarn along. I don't think I'm going to pass these along, though. I think I want to make um, make things with these. See what I have. Like I like making um, some of the little toys, and I think this is a good would be a good size to make some of the toys. So we'll see. Um, but this is pretty fun. This is really fun. Um, what I also might do is make things to give away. We'll see. Hello, dog. You're scratching on my carpet. That was, this was fun. This was really fun. I really, I love this color. I really like this color. And I like this purple a lot. And this one's really fun color. I like the, I love that green. Not the brown's okay, but the green I love. And this color, I love this color. And I have to say, I don't love these as much. I've never been a huge fan of warm colors, but I know a lot of people are. I still like making things with everything, so that's a possibility or pass this one along. I have been. I'm signed up to do the next Mystery Yarn Challenge, and I'm, like, wondering what I'm going to send. And I might have some things that I can put with some of this to send along, um, or make something with it. Um, and then this one. This one, I was like, why does this remind me of my granddaughter? And then I remembered why. So, um... My cute, cute granddaughter, 
Um, her name is Edelweiss. And when she was born, I was making her different things. And I have a yarn that it's a lighter version of this, but it's very similar. Um, it doesn't go into the dark colors. It it's, stays in the lighter colors that are on the inside. And I made her Edelweiss flowers for when she was born. And I've been thinking I need to see if I can make more Edelweiss things. Um, and that, but that's why it reminds me of my granddaughter. My granddaughter's turning five, guys. How does that happen? My other grand, my grandson just turned three. I mean, how does this happen? Um, and so then there's the yellow. I love the green. I adore the blue. And then, oh, the pink and the lavender. So I'm not as big of a fan of this color, but it would come in so handy. Like, I'm really thinking of wondering if there's toys I can make. Or pass it along. I just, I think part of the reason why I'm thinking of not passing this along is because there are so many people that don't want these smaller weights. Even though, technically, you can always hold two of them together and get a different look plus a thicker thickness so even though these are two if you hold two of them together i can't remember what they equal to are they as, i don't know if they're quite as thick as a four they might be and then this color here i i've never been a fan of this color um just my mom liked this color um, and I know a lot of people love this color. I love that about color. I love that color is such a personal preference thing. I know that Bagoday Crochet, that crystal over there, she likes brown and her daughter likes purple and pink. Um, I know that um, my daughter, she loves silver and purples and kind of gray, gray to purples are her favorite. And then um, my other daughter, she loves royal blue. It just, it's so funny to me how we all have such different personal color preferences. This blue that's on here is one of my favorite colors. Um, and another, another thing, you know those flowers? Oh shoot, I don't remember what they're called. I will see if I can find pictures of them, but there's this red and this purple, and they're just really deep, and those are colors that I love. One of my favorite colors and have been for as long as I can remember, and when I got married, my wedding colors were like jewel tone colors. I had a burgundy, a navy blue, and like the hunter green or the forest green, whatever, that really dark green on the cool side, and I just... I always kind of liked those colors. So, colors fascinating, and I will either pass it along or make something with it. And if I make something with it, I promise you'll see it. Um, so anyway, thank you, Lori, for passing it along, and thank you, um, Mary, for the gift. I appreciate that. And remember to let your light shine through your creations. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.